Hey there, I'm Brennan with Gongs Unlimited, and I'm here to kind of introduce and also explain what to do with this Grata Sonora harp gong. As you can see, it is a gong, but it has 6 strings on it. And not only are they 6 strings, but they're 6 strings that are not tuned at all. They're still loose and completely out of tune. And if you buy one of these from us, this is how it's going to be because we can't keep too much tension on them when they're shipping or else they'll snap. So, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get this gong is tune it so you can play the strings. And to do that, we're going to need this. A heavier, a medium heavy to regular heavy mallet is what Grata Sonora suggests for the harp gong. Something with a little bit of heft and size to it so that you can get the primary tone out of this gong. And you're going to want to start by striking it right in the center. Not too hard so that it rattles everything, but hard enough that you, on your phone tuner, or if you have a regular tuner, an analog tuner, that's great too, you can get the center pitch of this gong. And I'm getting roughly a B, but it's not a perfect B. It's somewhere about 40 cents north of a B, which is fine, because when we're tuning these strings, we don't have to tune them to B as in a letter, because we're not going to be playing the gong with uh, an accompaniment of strings or things tuned to the same, or that have to be tuned with one another. We just have to tune it to itself. So if this is registering as a B, 30 cents above your quote-unquote standard B, then we're just going to tune the strings accordingly. And so now that we have our primary pitch, what we're going to want to do is pick the scale that we're going to tune these six strings to. And we, along with Grata Sonora, kind of decided there were three things that you're going to want to tune it to. The first, a major scale. The second, a minor scale. The third, which is what we tuned two of the gongs in our product videos for, which is the Phrygian mode. The Phrygian is kind of an outlier that sounds cool, and that's actually what we tuned our harp gongs to when we tuned alongside Grata Sonora. But this one, I think I'm just going to tune to a major key. And so we're going to go for B major, but not just B major. We're going to go 30 cents above B major. And when you're tuning these gongs, you only have a little bit of leeway as far as what notes they can be tuned to. Obviously, you can go a few semitones up or down, but you don't want to go too tight or too loose, because if you go too tight, then A, you could snap the string, but also you might get a weird pluck ping sound instead of a real nice resonance. And if you go too low with it, you're going to get sort of a whomping sound where the note's going to spend some time a little bit lower and then finally find the note that it's tuned to. What we have determined is to have your root note right here. So this is going to be a B. And then we're going to go up to the fifth, the sixth, the root note again, the second, and the sixth. These three an octave up. So you're going to have your B here. This is going to be B. If this is the first octave, then this is going to be the second octave, the third octave, so on and so forth. And so since we're tuning this to B, it's going to be B2, F sharp 3, G sharp 3, B3, C sharp, G sharp 4. C sharp 4, G sharp 4. And the first thing we're going to want to do is give a little bit of tension on each string just to make sure it's not too out of whack with itself. The main reason for doing this is that the quicker you get the tension to where it's going to be in its final state, the less amount of time you're going to have to spend later on. Starting now, all of these strings are adjusting to their new tension versus if we spend all this time on one and all this time on the next, all in the next, then we're going to go through and almost be starting from scratch with tuning. Um, obviously, it can be done that way, but this way is just going to be a little bit quicker. And so, we're going to start with this, the bottom string. This is a B. The other two that we have in stock right now are C sharp, give or take. 
And so, no matter what, this first string is going to be tuned to the same note as the gong itself. And so we're going for B2. And so now we're at B2, so you can see on the tuner, but we're pretty much just there. What we need to do now is go a little bit higher, since the gong itself is a little bit higher than B. And right about there, we're about 35 cents north of B. And that's where we want to be. And so next, we're going to go up to our second string, and the second string is going to be the fifth. And so the fifth is an F sharp three, which we're just about at already because we spent that time earlier just putting a little bit of tension on the strings. Then we're going to go up to the six, and that's a G sharp. So G sharp three. And again, this is for the major scale. If you're tuning minor or Phrygian, there's going to be a couple different things in there, um, a couple different notes. But when I say G sharp, you say G. Follow according to the scales. And we'll put the different scales up somewhere over there. sharp, but like we said, just north of G-sharp. Then our fourth string is going to be the octave, so we're going to go for B4. And then we're going to go back to the second, or up to the second. And I'm holding my phone right here, rather, my tuner in this instance. Because, A, it's easier to get a clear tone playing on the sides close to these little pegs that are holding the string up, this bridge, we could call it. Um, if you play in the center, you're more likely to get a bigger vibration when you're plucking with your finger, and so, as you can see, when you hit it like that, it sort of wallops in and out, like I spoke of earlier, and it's hard to get a clear tone. But over on the side, it's much easier. And I put the phone under it just because the strings aren't that loud, especially when you're just plucking with a finger, individually, each string. And so you're going to want to get your tuner pretty close up to the gong. So this is our second, a C sharp. And then we're going to go all the way up to the sixth again, an octave higher. So G sharp, four. And when you play it, Already pretty close to where we want it to be in the end game. So right now we're just going to go through, make sure we like where everything is. And all these strings are now happy. They're all tuned to the major scale, B major scale that is, and pretty close, at least on paper close to what the gong, gong itself is resonating at. And you have a way to test that. Pick our mallet back up.
And so once you have the gong set up in whichever tuning you choose, then you're ready to play. The main way is going to be, if it's one person, stick in one hand, mallet in the other. Grata Sonora also recommends a, the Lava Flumies from Ali Hess, um, 60 or 50 millimeter size, but I'm sure any Flumie would work great on it. They also recommend striking in the middle, and that way you're always getting that clear, consistent tone. that we've now tuned the strings to. If you want to. You can get a little vibrato on the gong by shaking it just like this. Since these are actually bored in, the tuning knobs that is, are actually bored into the metal, you just move the metal. And you can get some vibrato. Do that enough, you might have to tune the gong more, but otherwise, it's totally cool to do. And that is the Grata Sonora Harp Gong. Very simple to tune. It will be come to you with all of these little pegs and bridges already attached. And all you have to do is choose the tuning you like and have fun. All right, that's it for us at Gongs Unlimited. Hope you have a good day.